Live. It's the KD Bo Show. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's the stage play that we have been talking about, what, for about a month and some change now. It's actually going to hit the, uh, the Atlanta area at the Riverside Epicenter this Friday. You can't get tickets for this Friday, though, because it's sold out. And let me just say this real quick before we start talking. Y'all, Atlanta, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all wait too late, and then you get mad and complain when you can't get stuff. Okay, just get the tickets. It's a great show. Lolita Snipes, head over heels. One of the stars is here. That dude with 18,000 octaves. Micah Stampley, what up, boss? Oh, uh, man. Uh, you good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, let me just get a little uh, l- little bit of uh, qu- a question for you before we start talking about this amazing show, and it's really amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kirk Franklin recently came on, and he talked about uh, gospel music and how he said that gospel music could possibly be like disco and just go away. Uh, Fred Hammond basically said the same thing as it relates to his 52 City Tour. They struggled on that tour pretty bad. Pretty bad. So they talked about gospel music, but what do you think about it? Do you think it's something that is going to go the way of the blues and jazz, or do you think it's just... Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. It will never go away. It will go away when, when we stop going to church. Interesting. So, okay, so, right, it won't go away, but do you think that it being a viable option for people to, you know, uh, for promoters and for people like you to make money? Well, the thing is, touring... Uh, is difficult for all genres across the board. Okay. Uh, with the exception of country music. I think they're, that they have been the only genre that's been on an incline. Everybody else has been on a decline, mm. not just gospel music. So I don't really agree with that. You know, that gospel music can possibly kind of dissipate or disappear. No, I don't see that at Maybe all. Maybe it's the artist, because clearly you are still working. You are in this number one stage play. <laughs> Lolita Snipes, head over heels, man. Tell me about the show, brother. Man, this show is hilarious. Uh, it's drama. It's energy. It's love. It's excitement. It's it's uh, great music. Shirley Murdoch. I mean, come on, the legend. She's in it. Um, it's just a great cast of people. I've really been having a great time. Um, the one and only, the writer, the producer, Lolita Snipes. Uh, we actually go to the same church, Word of Faith, Bishop Brown's church. Oh, okay. And um, uh, last year when they did a show at the Epicenter, uh, she and her husband approached me about maybe doing something in the future. And it just came to fruition, y'all. I haven't done a stage play in a very, very long time. So why'd you choose so, this one, though? Um, I like the storyline. Uh, and it wasn't nothing that I had to take my clothes off and, and. <laughs> you didn't take your clothes off in this nah, one? Nah. Where'd they go to sales, right. Lord? Right, right. Where'd they go to sales, Jesus? <laughs> But, uh, yo, yo, for all the ladies that like, you know, cut dudes, we, look, my homeboy, Michael Bolo, is in here. Oh, okay. So, uh, he got you covered in that sense. I, but, I'll take care of the other side. So, uh, of course, Shirley Murdoch is in it. You are in it. Tamika Scott from the group Escape, Michael yeah, Bolo. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, there you go. Who, who, who is he? Michael Bolo is, um, he's an actor, um, dancer, and also he's a part of the cast of Viv- Vivica Fox show, um, uh, Black magic. So they got a little world in this in it, okay? Little, okay, for those of you that kind of like to stand on that line a little bit. Uh, my man, Tony Tone is in it, HBO comedian. Yeah. And man, this could be off the chain. I just think that this is going to be a show. Lolita has been doing this for quite a while. Uh, the, 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 the comedy level. First of all, you don't have a show that has toured the country and has had this sustenance and it's not a good show. The problem with a lot of stage plays is that sometimes they're just simply not good, but that's not the case in this one. Hey, uh, all you gotta do is go out to, what is it? ticketalternative.com ticketalternative.com get your tickets today stop waiting with a little waiting spirit and get these tickets ticketalternative.com is going to be here of course on Friday which is sold out but also on Saturday at 3 and 8 p.m. and then on Sunday as well at 3 p.m. Riverside Epicenter thank you for stopping by my man we appreciate my you my and pleasure. as always you, you know you always got time to come by always man say hey to the people Yo, I'm going to come back out. and co-host with them one day Hey, quit playing. I'm like, for real. I ain't playing. Stay, stay a little later today. Let's finish the show. All right. Exactly. You ain't. No, I can't. I got to go to <laughs> a meeting. <laughs> Keep it where you got it, family. And my wife texts me right now. Where you at? Right. <laughs> Praise 1025.